I hear a lot about creepy men. What's your creepy woman story? Does a much older co-worker popping her dentures out at lunch making a BJ motion at me from across the cafeteria count as creepy? Update. No I did not go down that slippery road. Yes. I helped run a technology conference a few years back. The keynote speaker was an entrepreneur who made millions developing a highly successful website. Any more information and it would be compromising. On the day of the conference, he shows up and this strange lady approaches him, gets on her knee, and proposes. She was promptly tackled and taken away by security. We later found her blog and it was nothing but grainy pictures of her kissing a cutout print of the entrepreneur taped to a bag of rice. She's a keeper. Working in retail you can get customers with creepy attachment issues. My assistant manager was a man and this slightly older woman would come in all the time when he was working. Then she started bringing him coffee. Then it was full meals that he didn't want. I had to step in and tell her that she couldn't come in on his shifts anymore. Because it was a distraction and work is, well, work. So she started leaving him notes on his car with her number, poetry, etc. When he didn't call her she just straight up waited for him at night. We finally had to get more security involved because she just didn't understand that he didn't want to date her. Yeah call centers are like that too. We had a woman call our small tech support team and if it wasn't the person she wanted she would hang up and call back 1 to 10 minutes later and try again. Often it would take her dozens of attempts. He just played it straight and never even gave her a please and thank you after she started getting weird super fast girlfriend the day we officially got together i was walking her home when she stopped by a storefront and started looking at baby stuff when i asked her if someone she knew had one recently she just said it was for the baby we would be having in a couple months after our wedding that was the shortest relationship of my life i was working third shift at a gas station a few years ago and this lady used to come in at least twice a week to buy our chocolate milk I got a weird vibe from her and everyone told me to stay away but I'm a nice person and I thought maybe she just needs a friend. Well, she'd come in and because I was so friendly, maybe two months after I started showing friendliness to her, she started asking me really random questions. Like, are you here alone? When was the last time you ate? How old is your boss? Are you into pony play? Do you like white fudge? One night she got angry with me. She asked if I was there alone and I told her no. I'm always there alone. She asked where my co-worker was and I said in the cooler. This girl literally walked over and searched the cooler and said I didn't see anyone. You lied to me she ran outside. Grabbed the brick out of her purse. Threw it in my car window. And gave me the finger. She came in twice after that but I quit shortly after. I'll never know what happened to her. Once had a girl send me a note in class asking me to be her stallion. I answered with another note politely saying I wasn't looking for a mare. Well next day I get a very long letter telling me I'm one of Satan's disciples and would burn in heck. Basically saying I'm an evil person with lots of religious references and formulas. Her sweet love transformed into intense hatred when I said no and it lasted for years. If Ask Reddit has taught me anything it's that horse girls are freaking crazy. College roommate from heck. Began dating a guy whom she regularly abused. Slapping. Hitting. Yelling. Screaming. Insulting. It would happen in front of me. Friends. Professors. Colleagues. Employees on campus. It was reported time and time again. But I don't know how seriously it was taken behind the closed doors of a counselor's office. Or if they ever even had professional help from the college or otherwise. Many people accepted this as normal for them. I moved out after about a month of this at the beginning of the school year. Still eerie to look back on years later. I think they've married since. Poor guy. I really hope she stopped or he found himself worthy enough to drop her. I had a girl in high school write me a song the day after I had moved there and started school. She would peek over lockers when I would come down the hall and show up at my bedroom window at night multiple times asking me to come outside and kiss her. Ouch. When the belief in comedy romance shows goes horribly wrong colon. I met this girl on Tinder a few years back but never bothered meeting with her. I guess I must have mentioned where I stayed at school because she randomly showed up at my apartment unannounced. I was at a play with my SO, and the woman sitting to my left kept gradually leaning away from her man on her left. It was odd. 
She was probably 15 years older than I. I never even acknowledged her but by the end of the first act she roughly speaking had her head resting on my shoulder. I changed seats at intermission. We still have a good laugh about it every so often. Swingers. I was a regular at a restaurant and I asked a waitress that I liked out and she said yes. I took her to her play and she got up and started to shout at the actors as if she was part of the play. We got kicked out. We went to a friend's bar and hung out with a few friends of mine's. She went up to one of the girls and said I love your hair she said thanks but then my date grabbed her arm and stared at her number. I really love your hair a few minutes passed. I was talking to my really nice hair friend and I saw my date behind her analyzing her hair. Studying it. On the ride home I was silent and hope I could just get her home without her saying a thing. Out of the blue she told me a story about when she was a little girl and she wanted a handbag at a store and how the store owner would let her have it if she would let him touch her. I got to her place before she could finish her story. I got to her place before she could finish her story. I'm just imagining you accelerating as she's telling the story trying to beat the ending. Godness a guide by a girl in college. We worked together on a group project. I would always be really nice because why not. I was never flirty though or like oh you look good today because I wasn't interested in lying. I guess she figured I was into her. Blah 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 I'm sorry. I like you as a classmate but I'm not interested in anything else. She ended up figuring out who I was adding on Facebook and if they were a girl she would send them messages about the kind of guy I was. Basically saying I led her on to get what I wanted from her before ditching her. Comma I like you as a classmate. Dang. Classmate zoned. Posted this before but it was definitely one of the creepiest experiences I had. So about 5 years ago I was working at Starbucks. That day I volunteered to take the closing shift of another store in the same city, but more central. About 4 hours before closing this girl comes in I knew from school. She always had a creepy vibe to her, was super pale slightly overweight and had messy hair that looked like she didn't wash them for quite a while. Well she comes up to tea counter where I was prepping drinks and started talking about whatever, didn't really listen. Suddenly she asks if I want to hang out with her after work. I tell her just no I can't at first, but she won't accept that. So I told her I'd be working too long and I'd be too tired after anyway. Well she didn't hang around much longer and left the store. I keep doing my stuff in the store and it gets later. At around 11pm the store closed and the streets outside emptied. Then it hit me like a brick wall. On the other side of the street between two stores. That crazy bee was waiting and just standing there watching the store. I kinda ignored her. But was still kinda concerned as this was not normal behavior. I tell my barrist about it and tell her she should keep an eye on the crazy chick while I do the tills for the day. Store was closed down at that point anyway and she couldn't get in. As I came back from the office. My barrist told me that Ms. Crazy didn't move once the whole time and just watched. By now I got really nervous as we were pretty much finished with everything and it was time to leave the store. So we leave and I make sure everything's closed, while ignoring the crazy girl the best I can. I walk with my co-worker towards the train station in a fast pace and she just follows us. Didn't say a word to us or anything, just followed us. I lost eyesight when we entered the station as it was still pretty crowded. Went into my train and came home. Relieved she never actually approached me. But still to this day, I have never been as creeped out by another person. Next time call the cops. Even though they can't arrest her they will probably talk to her and you can leave so she can't follow you. I was still in high school. Probably grade 11 or 12 standing at a bus stop with some friends. This middle aged lady comes up to me and tells me how pretty I am. I didn't find myself pretty at all and I was surrounded by my friends who were much more beautiful. I'm flattered that a stranger would think that so I'm blushing and thank her for being so nice. She then proceeds in broken English to gesture back and forth from her boobs to mine and ask me if they're real. I hesitantly say yes. She keeps going on asking me how big they are and asking about my bras. I'm feeling really uncomfortably by then, but I can't really walk away as we're waiting for a bus and my friends just think it's funny. I try to ignore her, but she starts trying to pull me away from my friends and telling me how much money I could make if I came and worked for her. But finally an adult standing at the bus stop stepped in and told her to frick off and she walked away. Grandma wanted to pimp you out. 
kissed a cute girl one night at a party and we exchanged numbers. On the drive home I got a text from her and waited to read it, cause I was driving. It was a 4 page rant of somebody who was quite obviously bad crap insane. She was going on about our pending marriage on page 1, kids page 2, divorce page 3, and then murder page 4. I went from being excited to complete disappointment and sadness and fear in a fraction of a second. Over the next few days she sent me reams of texts telling me what a horrible person I was. The whole situation was just a nightmare. I went from being excited to complete disappointment and sadness and fear in a fraction of a second. I just imagine you reading the first text going, oh, oh, oh crap. Acquaintance that worked at my son's after school care. Talk to her a handful of times maximum. She learns I do IT work for a living. Asks me if I can fix some malware issue with her laptop. She brings it to me, and while I'm cleaning it up, I open the downloads folder to run some tools I downloaded and there are about 15 photos of me. Some from my LinkedIn, a couple from my employers about us page and some she took of me from her phone stalker style. It was awkward to say the least. She turned about 10 shades of red and nervously laughed it off. I tried to pretend like I just didn't see the weirdest thing in my life. I thank god my son was going to middle school the following year I tried to avoid her at all costs after that. Went to a memorial recently at a swanky rooftop bar of a hotel. This woman with a shaved head was literally going from group to group around the roof. Note, not every group was there for the memorial. She was sitting very, very close to people, touching them, trying to almost be the center of attention everywhere she went. At one point she asked one of the guys who was there with me for this memorial to kiss her on the cheek. Clearly drunk. Someone called security on her and her escorted from the property. Oh frick where do I start? I drove a yellow cab during the great recession. 35 plus year old drunk women get handsy. I kept getting this one chick would spend the whole ride trying to convince me to date her and dump my girlfriend. Had some 40 something blonde grab my crotch hard enough I yelped. Another was trying to get me to have a three way with her and her boyfriend. Freaking no thank you. Not me but a mate. He had a serious girlfriend who he knew, probably didn't admit at the time, was a little unstable. He bought a cheap boat and sailed with her down from the UK stopping along the way in France, Spain, Portugal and Morocco. Plan was to head into the Mediterranean and then follow the canals up through France and home. All was going well until they were going through the canals and were tied up alongside each night. She started drinking pretty heavily and this escalated to her disappearing off for nights. He spoke to her about it. She apologized and promised to stop. Got better for a while but surprise. Surprise it started again. He spoke to her about it again and discussed her flying home. After that she stopped again until one night he woke up to discover himself doused in petrol and her standing over him with a zippo. Rather swiftly he jumped out of his bunk. Disarmed her. Out cold. And called her dad to come pick her up. Sailed the boat back himself and still carries the zippo with him everywhere. TLDR. Mate's girlfriend goes a bit wibble and tried to set him on fire. Holy frick. A girl transferred to my high school during my freshman year. She was a sophomore. We met once at a football game and shared a couple laughs over stupid jokes. Then, she decided I needed her to take me under her wing and would follow me around between classes giving me pointers on my looks, clothes, etc. It was annoying but not creepy at all for several weeks. Until she showed up at my house. I never told her where I lived, with a bag from Coles full of skimpy clothes she'd bought for me to wear. She thought she needed to fix my looks to improve my life or something. I refused to let her in my house after she showed me some of the clothes, and my dad got her to leave by threatening to call the police. She literally stood at my door ringing the doorbell and knocking on it for 30 plus minutes until dad threatened her. After that. She started a rumor at school that I was stalking her and that I was a lesbian and infatuated with her. She treated me like a walking virus for the rest of the school year. She didn't come back for her junior year so I hope she moved and didn't die or something. TL. DR. In 3 haiku. We shared a quick laugh. She decided I should change. The way I dressed up. She wanted to see. How a thong might look on me. But I turned her down. So she wore a frown. And swore I love to munch pie. Oh. Ups a girl. Classic projection. I'm Scottish. 
and whenever I'm at a formal event or Scotland football match I wear a kilt. The amount of times I've been wearing said kilt and some creepy woman has either asked me what I'm wearing under it, tried to look up it, or physically tried to lift it up is unsettling. It's usually older women that do it as well. Guaranteed if I done that to a woman wearing a skirt I'd be on a register. I was showering at the gym in a stall with no curtain and this fully dressed woman came along, leaned on the opposite wall, about 3 meters away, and just stared at my body for the duration. The creepy thing is she didn't make eye contact or anything. She was literally looking me up and down with dead eyes and an expressionless face like I was a piece of meat or something she had no interest in interacting with on an interpersonal level. It made me feel kind of invisible despite the scrutiny. Hands down the creepiest woman I've ever seen. She was just checking to see if she liked the way the beef was cooked at this gym. More like weirded out a bit. One woman in public transport was looking at me without even moving her head elsewhere. Literally staring at me until she got off. Got off. This was in my freshman year of high school a couple years ago. I was in a boarding school, so we all lived in co-ed dorms. I was getting in the elevator alone and the doors were about to close when suddenly a girl sprints towards the door and makes it just in time. Now I've heard rumors that this girl is kinda creepy, but I tried not to think about it. She leans over, quickly puts a hand up my shirt, and says nice abs. I push her away and I'm like UTF don't do that. She asks me if I know what yo is, I'm Japanese, I say yeah, and then she responds with I like it a lot, uwakareaii. The doors open and I speed walk out of there ASAP, never met a creepier girl yet. Really sounds like something the girl from my creepy girl story would do, they're out there man. Probably nothing super creepy, but here goes. Years ago my buddy and I went to a bar on a Sunday, normal thing with us. A good way to unwind and talk about the week. Well, both of us went outside to have a cigarette. And when we did a girl followed us out to do the same. She started talking to us. Seemed friendly enough. But then really started to dog on all the other women at the bar. How they dressed. How they were loud and flirty. Not like how she was. A cool, laid back single mom. Just having a good time. So we go back inside. And throughout the night she keeps coming outside. Saying the similar thing. Eventually the night wears on, it's last call, we get ready to go, my buddy is friends with the bartender, and the bartender walks up, hands us two more beers, and tells us you guys can hang out while we clean up, finish watching whatever was on TV, so we do, and by the time we go to leave it's an hour past close, now this part was where it was a bit weird, we walk outside, head to my car, and I just hear hey to see the girl and her friend sitting in a car, now to me this is odd, we've been the only patrons in the bar for about the last 90 minutes, but I figure I'll at least say hello, talk for a quick minute, then say our goodbyes. Well, the girl gets a really nasty scowl on her face, and goes what? I wait for you guys this long and neither of you are gonna ask for my number, so I'm kinda stumbling to tell her no, I'm not interested. When my buddy, the savior of my awkwardness just... Slaps my butt and goes come on hossable boo. This butt ain't gonna frick itself. So we just bounced. But I think back now. It's creepy as heck because if my buddy and I did that to two women. There might be heck to pay. Went on a tinder date and noped out in a kind way after some drinks saying we were to different and thanked her for the company. The next day I get a phone call from my mother saying that my girlfriend was worried about me hurting myself and being depressed. My mom was obviously freaked out by this and wondering why I never introduced them to my girlfriend. After explaining them what happened I still had a feeling my mother didn't believe me which hurt. The psycho general sent me multiple love letters and called my parents a few more times. My mother eventually met her in person to tell her to get help and gave her some contacts which was sweet of her to do but really awkward as well. I'm not on tinder anymore. I have been waiting to tell this story for a long time. One night I went to a bar that runs these kink friendly events. During my visit, there was a woman who called herself lasagna in the back where the saint. Andrew's cross was and she was straddling it and asked me to spank her. Given that she appeared to be drunk and I did not know her, as well as the fact that she wore a leg crutch, I declined and said let's chat first. Things go okay given the odd circumstances, had her on my lap for a bit and just chatting. 
I think I should have just left at that point when she confessed to being a communist single mother with polio. Later on she gets off of me to meet with her friend. And for whatever reason she pulled out a stun gun and activated it. Needless to say the owner ran over to ask who had it and to put it away. I am thinking nothing could get weirder about this until I made a joking remark about me being punched in the face or something like that in response to something else. She thought that gave her permission to strike me in the jaw with a pretty weak hit. After being taken aback, I told her to leave and that the hugs she tried to solicit from me upon heading out would not be given. Haven't seen her since. Lasagna got too many layers of craziness. I knew this couple in high school and the girl was fricked up. They're either always together and sharing jokes or the girl is quickly walking away with tears streaming down her face. He dumped her numerous times but they always get back together because she threatened to kill herself. I don't know if they're together now but I'm hoping for the best for both. Not creepy like most of you are describing, but when I was in high school my family moved to Colorado from Tennessee, very different places and still trying to adjust. Second day in our new house, my sister said, hey there's some woman in our yard, didn't know if she was trying to meet the new neighbors or what, looked normal enough, but then I noticed she's standing next to a tree and, peeling off the bark and eating it, I run outside and ask, um can I help you, too creeped out to be angry. She just ran away. Welcome to your new home. I was doing some electrical work in an office and asked one of the ladies if I could get under her desk to finish what I was doing and she said yes and moved out the way. When I was under the desk she leaned over and sniffed my hair. Worked at a festival during the summers and the one year a different booth opened across from my boss. A single, middle aged woman with two teenage kids selling clothing. The teenage girl was similar in age to me and kept flirting with me. She wasn't bad looking but not really my type. I just figured I could get a quick layout of her and when the summer was over we wouldn't see each other again so I reciprocated her flirting. She gets me behind my booth during our break and leans in to kiss my shoulder, neck. I wasn't sure what she was going for until she bit down, hard. She freaking bit me between my shoulder and neck so hard that it drew blood. I immediately recoiled. Yelled and my boss came flying around the corner of the booth to find me holding my shoulder bleeding while she stood there smiling with blood around her lips. My boss told her to frick off and began to help me with the wound. Later that day, her mom returns to their booth so my boss heads over to talk to her about it. Her response was, she likes him and that was her way of showing it. It's not her fault he is not man enough to take it, my boss, incredulous at the response says, she freaking bit him. He's my apprentice and I am responsible for him the mom then tells my boss that her daughter is a vampire and vampires express themselves by drinking the blood of those they love. My boss needlessly told me not to talk to them again. The next summer, them and their business were gone, likely because my boss had pulled with the property owners. Not necessarily creepy, more didn't read ignored the signals, was dancing with a girl once at a party in college. She was a friend of a friend and we were the odd two of the group. I was just being polite and when I say dancing I don't mean grinding or anything of that nature. At one point out of nowhere she shoved her hand down my pants without warning. I admittedly probably backed off a little quicker than I probably should have and might have embarrassed her. I said, sorry, I'm just having fun. I don't see this going there. She promptly slapped me and threw a fit about me being and butt. Gave me weird looks the rest of the night. I still wouldn't have been into it but I'd advise moving forward she may be stuck with something less aggressive. Girl in my class fell in love with me. I didn't fell for her. On one music class she sang a song about me and whole class had to listen it. After the song she started to cry and our teacher told me to stay after the class and I got detention because I had hurt my crazy classmates feeling so bad. This is like an episode of a 90s sitcom. Short one. While I was in Italy this obviously drunk woman started stumbling towards me slurring Italian at me whilst spilling her little carton of wine. I walked away. She followed. Had to end up running a good bit from her. This happened when my wife and I first starting dating but were still keeping it quiet from everyone we worked together. So this girl didn't know I was in a relationship. But she was in one herself. 
She was a college friend of a friend of ours, let's call her Michelle and was one of those girls who would get comatose drunk on any night out. Anyway, we were all out one night and my now wife and I were going to head home shortly. Michelle could barely stand so we decided we should take her with us. Here is the briefest summary of events I can make. While in the taxi, now wife in the front and me and Michelle in the back. Michelle whispers to me to ditch my now wife and come back to hers. I say no. A few minutes later, still in the taxi, she grabs my hand and sticks it up her skirt. I pull my hand back. We arrive at her apartment block and we try to help her inside. She can't even work the key in the lock. When we get the door open, she says goodbye but only to my now wife. We all end up in Michelle's apartment, where she insisted she had cats. While now wife was in the bathroom, Michelle needed help to open a can of tuna for the cats and lunges in for a kiss which I avoid. She then tries to give me a tour of the apartment, spends a lot of time in her bedroom trying to get me to come further than the bedroom door, finding all ranges of things I should come in to look at. A few minutes later, she's calling me from the bathroom, I walk as far as the door and she's there on her hands and knees looking for a piece of jewelry, and asking me to come help her find it. This was a tiny bathroom, I could see standing up at the door that whatever she was looking for was not on the floor. Finally, as we're still attempting to leave, she keeps pulling at me and telling me to stay. I left, intact at least. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.